about 700 people. I always lie and tell people I'm from Seattle, but you can tell from the music I play and the long ramble <laughs> talking that that's obviously not true. Uh, I come from a small logging town, uh, mostly they're Appalachian transplants. Uh, when the mines and logging businesses were too terrible for them, one, two, three generations ago, they moved to the Pacific Northwest in the US, uh, where a lot of the logging and mining jobs were similar. And so I grew up with bluegrass festivals and old time mountain music, and, um, and also high school where military recruiters were very common, and they would come to people like me and my friends and say, you small town hicks, do you wanna go see hot babes in Hawaii? You can join the army. And so I was uh, homeschooled for most of my schooling, so I didn't get indoctrinated as much, but my best friend and neighbor kid, uh, he came to Korea, and, and he's an awesome guy. And, and um, then, he came, then he went to Iraq, and after a roadside explosion, went home with some brain trauma, and then uh, ended his life after some other stories. So these are all connected to this. Uh, my uncle was the coroner for his case, and so I know this is really heavy stuff, but these songs kind of tie in all of that way that uh, all these stories are connected to me. So, um, so the second song is sort of a sol soldier's song, coming home and having a small patriotic town like the one I grew up in cheer you on and pray for you and send you somewhere. But then when you come back with some brain problems, they don't want anything to do with you, right? And so it's a lament for him and it's also a lament for the grandmothers. All right. <laughs>
Okay, we're gonna jump. Thank you for those listening and participating in those heavy songs. We're gonna try to do two joyful songs before 